はいございます。お願いします。ジャンピン。ストレッチアップ now。Remember those big movements? Oh, I've never muted you all. Just give you a little bit of a mute. Great. Okay. Oh, yeah, back and forward. Work those shoulders. Lean over to your left side. Inch, knee, sun, chi, go, look, chi, chi, ach, knee, knee, sun, chi, go, look, chi, ach, circles, inch, knee, sun, chi, change, go, look, chi, chi, ach, knee, knee, sun, chi, go, look, chi, cha, cha, chi, legs, inch, knee, sun, chi, go, look, chi, ach, toes up, inch, knee, sun, Go, rock, sheet, arch, heels together. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, sheet, arch, knee, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, sheet, arch, feet in the line, rotate the knees. Sun, chi, go, rock, sheet, arch, knee, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, sheet, arch, okay, wrist. Got to go, sh, itch, knee. Sun, chi, go, and tai, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, jacket, jory, kote, henry, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, and tai, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, junta, jory, kote, henry, itch, Ni, san, chi, go, and tai, itch, ni, san, chi, go, uh, tips of the fingers, itch, ni, san, chi, go, tai, itch, ni, san, chi, go, uh, take a V, itch, Sun, chi, go, and tai, itch, ni, sun, chi, go, uv. Okay. Okay. And next, itch, ni, sun, and tai, itch, ni. Sun, now looking left, itch, knee, sun, looking right, itch, knee, sun, rotate, take the other way, and down, itch, knee, sun, head slightly back from centre, close your eyes, gently shake your head, which of it? Okay, and four X flushes. Uh, rolling back and coming forward. Uh, so center line, uh, right corner, uh, left corner, arms out to give you balance. When you roll right or left, look in the direction that you're rolling and try and gradually go a bit more. Try and stay soft with your body and reaching forward as you come forward. Did you make it? Itch. Sun. Go. Go. Chi chi. A chi. Chu. And you. And reach forward this time. And reach towards your toes and stretch. Inch, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, chi, chi, nudge, chi. Two, and get legs apart. Up to your left side. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, hand tight. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Reaching with the right hand to the left foot. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, and change. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Push the knees wider. Leaning towards the center. Itch, knee, sun, chi, 
go rock hit h q q bring your legs in up and down soles of feet together pulling close hands around the toes hands around the hand back straight knees up and down now leaning towards the toes hit knee sun chi go rock hit h q q Legs out, left over right, rotate the ankle, rotate the other way, one way, back the other way, hold the foot, rotate the toes, push the toes up and down, squeeze them side to side, bang the ball of the foot and toes, up the arch, hold the heel and shake the foot, change over, right foot over left knee, hold the big toe, rotate the ankle, rotate the other way, one way. Rotate the other way, hold the foot, rotate the toes. Push them up and down. Push them side to side. Bang the ball of the foot and the toes. Drop the arch. Hold the heel, shake the foot. Legs down. Now rotate the ankles. Feet up and down. Wiggle your toes. Come onto your knees. Leaning back to a cat of five. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. Uh, do look after yourself. Jamet, itch. Sun. Chi. Go. And sit onto your heels. Uh, uh, stay sitting on your heels. Knees nice and wide, slide forward. Try and get your forehead near the ground. Legs up behind you, hands to your side, push your body up, arms straight, looking over your shoulders towards your feet, turning your hips as you do it, and now looking up. Good. Now from here, bring your knees in between your arms, and now lean back. Again, be very careful with this one, just to stretch your thighs, go as far as you feel comfortable, no further. Would you make it? Run over to one side, get your feet out from underneath you, lying flat on the ground. Okay, I'll, I'll face towards you. Okay, hands under your head, elbows flat on the mat, toes pointy up, feet touching each other. Now wriggle from side to side. Would you make it? They should take on in the day. Just going to move that lens a little bit down so I can come a bit closer so you can really see what I'm up to. That's better, yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Just watch for a sec just to make sure you're doing it right. Like that. Okay, off we go. I'm sure you all know this. It's quite fiddly though. Sounds really easy, but. Okay, hands out to the side, cross your feet over, pull your feet against each other, getting tension through your legs. And tight. See your neck, legs slightly apart, sole of your right foot against the side of your left knee, push them against each other. Change, push. Okay, legs out, slightly apart, bring your feet into to the flat on the ground. Push your hips up, now bring your feet in closer to you. If you can, so you're on the balls of your feet, arms up to give you balance, knees to the right side, turning your toes towards the right, and look to the left. So the toes of your right foot turn to the direction of your right knee, looking to the left. Now come across the top, to the center, to the left side, now turn the toes of your left foot in the direction of your left knee as you go down towards the ground. Keep your right shoulder on the ground and looking to the right. Okay, swap over. Looking to the left, knees to the right. Try and keep your left shoulder on the ground. Then change again. Getting across. 
knees to the left, look to the right. Now come down. From here, you're going to bridge from your heels. So bring your feet in just a little bit. Push your hips into the air. So you're arching from your heels to your shoulders. Back is off the mat, it's a low arch. Legs are pretty much straight. So try to have your knees not too bent at all. Pull your toes towards you, keep pushing up strongly with your hips. Push up, push up, push up. And come down now, top of the head on the mat. So you're arching from the back of your head to your backside. Uh, chest is open, shoulders are dropped down, so nice, really relaxed, top of your body. Legs straight. Good, and now down, hands under the head. Uh, legs straight, toes pointed up, touch each other, elbows flat, and again, wriggle like fish. When you do this, tuck your chin in just slightly. So you haven't got weight of your head on the backs of your hands, of your fingers. Okay, roll up onto your feet. And stretch out. Drop over, stretch your left leg, stretch your right leg. Toes up, toes up. Feet together, down and up. Feet in line, rotate with me. Good, okay, I'm just going to put my crash mat down. Do we're going to do a few, before we do on soccer or anything, we're going to do some, a little bit of break fall practice. Okay, we're just going to look at side break falls. A little bit, okay. I think I'll leave it, yeah, I'll just tip it maybe back a bit. Okay, right. So, uh, we're going to be here. Uh, I'm going to roll to my left side. So I'll be doing side break falls this morning. Um, so I'm on the balls of my feet. I've got my left arm here. Watch, watch my arm. Just don't do it yet. This one. So my arm stays ready. So I've got the weight of my, some of my body on my left tegatana, sort of. So it's tegatana shape. It's so, as you know, we use the shape for everything in Aikido. Because <laughs> it is the fundamental shape. So just try that. So you're gonna roll straight to your left side with your left hand just outside your knee kind of thing. So when you roll, your hip lands, you know, about 30 centimeters down. Fill out all your, and just practice that. Okay, so roll to the left. Feet go up, nice and, as, as I've said lots of times before, have your body as one unit. Just watch me a little bit, just watch. So it all moves together, you know, as well as I can for an old man that is. You can probably do it better if you're stronger and younger. Okay, so try it. One. Back onto your feet. Same side, two. Three. So we're rolling sideways. When you roll sideways, a little thing to think about is, is your right shoulder touching the ground? Ideally it doesn't, because you're not rolling backwards. So you're not turning and going like this, which is a back break fall. Okay, you're literally falling sideways. So that is my sideways to me. So I'm literally going that way. Okay, my right shoulder doesn't really touch the ground. It does a little bit, but certainly not the top of it. Okay, so two more. One. And two. Okay, now we're going to go the other way, of course. So I'm going to the other side of the mat. So now my right hand is here. See my Tegatana shape? Just here. So fingers are turning slightly, they're not completely straight, they're sort of turning slightly inwards because the, then I'm rolling on the outside of the arm as I roll down. Well, don't hit the table. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I'm going here. So my hand isn't completely straight, this hand. It's just turned that way. You can see the way it's roll. It's facing in the direction I'm going to roll. Okay, now try five of this. So hand down, one. Keep your left shoulder on that. The way to make sure your left shoulder, i.e. the opposite shoulder, whatever side you're rolling, the opposite shoulder isn't touching the ground, is to keep your hand forward. So my left hand is staying forward. It keeps my shoulder up. Also, if I was actually in, in, in a bundle, in a bundle, in a fight, even though I'm falling over, I want to guard myself. So I keep my hand here anyway, just in case I can sort of protect myself a little bit as I fall over. So rather than just flopping back. So I keep my 
my Zanshin. Uh, we've got Zanshin is awareness, focus. Uh, so no matter what's going on, you keep your Zanshin. So Zanshin is really important. I haven't mentioned it before, I don't think. We talked about it all the time when I used to do karate. Uh, Zanshin is really important. It's like your focal focus on everything all the time. It's like sort of total awareness. And again, roll. One. Looks like I'm wearing shorts. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hey, I'm good. Okay. We are just going to do a couple. Uh, let's just change the angle a bit. Right. We're just going to do a couple of um, standing. Okay, so I'm, on, I'm going to fall to my left side. So I'm going to my right, so I've got the space. I'm going to swing my left foot across in front of my right foot as though it's sweeping away. Sweep. So it's sliding on the carpet and coming off. As it comes off, I'm swinging my foot arm with it. See? Okay, now when I do that, I'm going to do this and then I sink. <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> well, you know how to do it. You have to collapse your right leg. So swing my left leg, collapse my right leg. And pull. Swing my left leg, collapse my right leg. And you see my hands bang just as, I, as my hip hits. Again, we've talked about dispersing the energy, the, the input impact. You don't want to put all the impact on your hip, of course. Because that's what you're trying to save. You're trying to save your hip. So you bang your hand. Obviously, you do it much harder than that if you're doing it on the floor or outside. But you do it like in a way which isn't to injure your arm either. So you don't bang so hard you really injure your arm. You bang hard enough to just take some of the pressure. So it's sort of quite a heavy bang. It's not a stiff bang. It's just a watch. What a fun feeling. Okay, we'll just try a couple on the other side. So we're going. Go to my left side so I can fall to the right. So I swing the foot through and the hand all together. Okay, and then watch. I'm going to go here. So that's my left leg. And then fall to my right. Okay, so I'm swinging my leg over. You can put it back down on the ground here. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding my right foot through, put the edge of it. Not the. I can't see. Sorry. Swing it through, put the edge of it on the ground, just to give myself a bit of extra um, support while I'm practicing. Then I'll collapse them both. So you swing it through, hand with a hand, sink down. Let's just do one more. It takes a little bit of coordination, but in the end you just sort of, in the end you just go, Whoa. and that's the idea. We want, we're trying to get to the situation where you fall over, you're safe. Anyway, that's good. We'll now get on to Unsuku Dosa. Just to remove the crash mat away. Okay, great. As if by magic. So, Unsuku. I'll play the same one as you. Unsuku, yoi, ajime. Itch, itch, san, chi. Go, go, each, 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 Take a tan of doors up. Remember, hand blades. I'll do the. Tell you what we'll do today. Uh, if you get yourself a sword or a stick or whatever you're using, I'm just going to use the wooden tanto I've got. Um, partly because of the light thing, but also very simple idea. Okay, so 
This I imagine is the sort of cutting implement, which could be a sword, could be this, okay, or it could be um, the walking stick. Okay, I'll use the tab. Actually, no, I'll use the walking stick. Why not? Yeah. So, um, it's in your left hand. So we're doing take a tan of and you have to swap it over halfway because you then do the right hand. So, by the left hand. Each, me, sun, chi, right hand. Go. She that's left hand again. Each me sun she right hand. Go rock she that's now into left hand. This way it's coming around this way. Each knee around your head. Sun she right hand. Go rock she that's left hand. Each me sun she right hand. Go rock she that's now there's piercing one. I'll just change it around the other way around. Each me sun. She right hand, go, go, she, that's left hand, each, me, sun, she right hand, go, go, she, that's left hand, and our right foot, remember, cut there, turn the blade around, cut that, right hand, left foot, cut down, turn it around, cut back, okay, into your left hand again, right foot, each, me, sun, she, left foot, right hand, go, well, she taps back into your left hand, last one above your head, turn around, cut forward, step back into your right hand, left foot forward, cut back, drop back into your left hand, come back into your right hand, come back. You're going to, it's going to do your brain in. <laughs> it, it's great though. Sun, she, go, roku, chi, chi, achi. Okay, now I'm going to get a sword. I shall use this because it's very easy to see. Okay, this is the my club. <laughs> anyway, I think we should we should around normally. Yeah, this way around. Okay, right. So um, we're going to do this actually again. Okay. So in your left hand, just hold it a little bit away from the end because uh, so maybe about six inches off. Okay. So above your head. One, two, three, four. Right hand. Five, six, seven. Okay. Back to your left hand. One, two, three, four, cut down, go back, push forward towards the throat. The second one, above your head, make sure I'm not going to hit that line. Swings around, starts on the right side, comes around that way, comes around your head, and goes the other way. Into your right hand, starts on your left side, goes around, tackle towards the right, comes around your head, and comes to the Okay, again, left side, each. Me, sun, she right side, go, throw, she. That's the third one into your left hand. This is the spearing one where you're going this way and that way. Okay, so left, one, two, three, four, right, five, six, seven, eight. Each, me, sun, she, go, go, she. That's fourth one. Left hand, right foot. Sword comes up, cuts, cross, 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 turning, turn the blade the other way, and cut that. Take it into your right hand, left foot, right hand, cutting, turn the blade the other way, cutting back. So, right foot, left hand, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Uh, right foot, left hand holding it, turn around 180 degrees, cut forward, step back, change into your right hand, step forward with your left foot, turn it to your right side, around, round, 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 cut forward, step back, take it into your left hand now, drop back off the line, so it's coming to your left hip, don't hit your TV, cut, step forward, into your right hand, take it to your left hip, come forward, cut, centre, so that one again, into your left hand, right foot, up, into your right hand, left foot, up, back into your left hand, draw back off the line, and cut centre and square up, take it to your right hand, bring it to your left hip, back off the line, into your centre above your head, cut forward and square up. Okay, that's quite useful. I must say, when uh, doing it like that, it might be easier for you to sort of um, picture it. Well, not even picture it, do it. <laughs> I'm just getting you all on the screen.
So I hope that was okay. Um, right, so now let's get the swords again. Back to a, a little sword. What we're going to do the, uh, this morning is we're going to be doing a little, a little bit of cutting, blocking, and cutting. Cutting, blocking, and cutting. Okay, so we're cutting down, men, itch. Left elbow coming up, bring it around behind, cut. Now you're going to cut knee. Right elbow coming up, bring it around, cut. So, itch, left elbow up, bring it around behind, cut. Cut again. Right elbow up, come around, cut. Um, I'm doing it kneeling, so I'm not moving at the moment. I'm just uh, staying still. But I'm turning my hips a bit, so cut. Turn your hips a bit, bring it around, and then cut. Now cut again, right elbow come up, turn your hips a bit, and cut. Okay, let's try it. We'll do a cut, block, cut in one go with the left side. Itch. Now cut, block, cut, right side. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Roku. Chi Chi. Hachi. Q. Q. Okay. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut and block to our left side. Okay. And then we're going to, sorry, cut. Let's do this again. So cut, left elbow comes up, comes to the left foot forward and strike slightly off the angle. Okay, so you avoid slightly to the side. Okay, now your left side. Now cut, bring your right elbow up and cut to your left side. Cutting left or you're on the right. Okay, so first one, slide forward and cut. Left elbow comes up, come around to left foot forward and coming out at an angle. So you're blocking, cutting to the center, having moved out of the way. Stay in that posture, left foot forward. Now you're gonna cut again, sliding slightly forward. Now your right elbow comes up and you can move to your right side, cutting to the left, over there. And then back to center, so your right side. Just checking my time, time's good, yeah, time's fine. Okay, so right side, let's say you bring your left elbow up. So cut, left elbow comes up and avoid to the side. Okay, so I'll do that with you. Uh, same one again. And again. And again. And again. Okay, make sure that back leg is nice and strong. Weight is really onto your left leg. Okay, next one is uh, you're in left posture. So slide, right elbow comes up, you're going that way. Okay, so left foot forward, slide, cut forward, cut, right elbow comes up, comes around behind you, right foot comes forward, avoid the side now, back leg is strong, weight onto your front leg. So at the end, I'm in this posture. Reaching out with my right side of my body, so my body is hand me, half angled posture, so it's not square anymore, it's like angled. Okay, so on both of these, I'm angled. When I come this side, I'm angled that way. When I'm the other side, I'm angled the other way in my body. So I'm reaching out with the sword. So I'm reaching out with the sword as far as I can go, which means I turn my body a little bit. Okay, so I'll face the same way as you. We're right foot first, cutting to the left side. So cut forward, block. And left side. Stay on left, cut forward, block, go right side. Go back on the right, hitch, stay on the left, knee, go to the right. Okay. Hitch, stay on the left, knee. Okay, I'll do it facing towards you. Hitch, you're on the left. Knee. Itch. On the left. Knee. Okay. Quite hard to do because you've got to move and stabilize. The way you stabilize is by concentrating on your stance. Although you're doing the cut, concentrate on a strong posture. It's always the way because you know everything starts from down the bottom. From the feet in the posture. So we do a cut. The, arm, the cut's just doing what the cut does. It's what happens down here with the strength of your legs that keeps you 
nice and stable. Okay, enough of that. We'll start. Swords away. Okay, so Joe. 13 Joe has um, been uh, our thing for the last few days. We'll just do a little bit more of that today because uh, I want to try and just tidy up. I want to tidy up myself. You probably do as well. And um, actually, I'll use a full length. Yeah, full length, Joe. Actually, no, I won't. I'll use this because again, you can see this really easy. When I look at it, this in the, uh, the camera lens, the video I'm seeing, I can see this, so we'll use that. I'll use this. Okay, so left hand down, about a third of the way down. Lift it up to your backhand, take it back, and strike. Okay, step half forward, half back, round your head, and strike. Move slightly to your left corner, blocking, and then a forward strike. Okay, now someone's coming to attack you behind. You left leg goes forward. You start turning. As you get to here, you see the person coming. You push your stick. So it does that, knocks across. Hand that hand's upside down. This hand comes to the bottom. This hand changes, comes lower as well, and you strike. Okay, someone comes behind you to spear you in the side. So you bring this around and you take your left leg back 180 degrees behind. Uh, left arm should be pretty much take a turn of shape and right arm as well. Okay, from here you strike forward. You then come back. Then uh, I'll just move forward a bit. Person comes to attack you here. You bring the stick across this way. So you block with the bottom end of the stick there. I uh, see the right hand is down by my side. I then bring it up and I jab down at the body from above. They attack me here. I knock that down and then I finish. 13. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11, 12, 13. I'll face, uh, face this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. More each dog. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How's that feeling? I'll just ask you. I'll unmute you. How's that feeling now? Is it starting to, it's feeling better for me. And, well, uh, I have a real, real problem with the, the hand changeovers as you turn. Yeah, it's fiddly, isn't it? Should we do it a couple of, let's just try it a couple of times. This is how I understand it. So where are we? We're, if we go this way, what I'm doing, okay, I've done the strike. Okay, you can't see, really see that, but I'll do it here. Okay, I'm gonna step forward. My left foot turning towards the right side. As I'm doing that, I'm seeing an attack coming here. What well, this bit, I shall tell you what, I use this long joke because it's more yeah, it's up here. I come here, okay, I see someone coming, and I do this motion. So as I turn, my left hand pushes the stick that way, and that's what blocks. This blocks their stick coming in at me. It comes up. And then I strike. So if I do it this way, I'm here. I step forward and I'm starting to turn around to my right side. 
Because I look over my shoulder, I see someone coming. I do this. As I do that, my left hand starts turning it down this way. I'm going to go up that light, aren't I? So, strike, turn, spin, up, strike. Do it this way. I'm here. Someone's going to attack me from behind. I step forward. As I step forward, I start turning that way. So I'm going um, clockwise. So this is the movement. So just practice that spin. Don't worry about the hands at the moment. Don't worry about the stick. Just leave the stick. Okay. Now as you come to this bit, you do this with a stick. You push it past your right hip. That's what creates the block. So you. Yeah. This ends up upside down. So as you go to strike, you change it to that. So I'm here. That making it better? Yes, thank you, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right. Hi, Paul. Yeah? Paul? Yeah? There, there was the exercises of Tuchia. That is exactly that movement. Yeah. I don't know if you, if you remember when he was doing that. That, that really helps when. Let me see. Then, let, me, let me put you as. Let me pin you. Let me just put it maybe this way. I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, I'm just pinned you. Okay. Do that again. Well, you strike and you slide. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. So what he's doing is slide. You slide the hand forward as well. No. Yes. No. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So as you go around, you don't just do it here. You slide the hand forward and do this. Yeah. So you get like you know you can do it like even other training that you can go back and forward, back yeah, and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that it was, a couple yeah. of times. Do it sideways on, so people can watch you. Sideways. That's it. Uh, Hey, Michael. Yeah, and again. Slowly. Slow. Cool. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that does it. So that's the same as what I'm doing, but it's yeah. using more of the Joe, which is what you should be doing. So that's exactly right. So that uses more of the Joe. Yeah, the jaw really helps. <laughs> yeah, it really flies, yeah. Right. Let the jaw go. Right. Let the jaw go. The jaw really helps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. So we'll go back. Right. We'll, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, we've only got a couple of minutes. Oh, by the way, what was I, before we go, uh, uh, you know I'm asked about if you minded doing another five minutes. Did you people think that was quite a good idea or not interested or? Yeah, five minutes, yeah. It's five minutes, okay, is it? Yeah, because I was thinking uh, 50 minutes instead of 45 minutes. So we might go on till about j just before 10 to. Um, so just about another six minutes. So what I want to do now is I want to do some footwork stuff because that's very important as well. So uh, let's, uh, so no Joe is required. Just close that down. Okay. So we're going to work on our footwork. Okay, so well, we've been doing rock or hall, okay. What we're now going to do is we're just going to practice entering without, so it's called a Hontai Nordskuri, okay, but what we're going to do it is we're going to do it with a, th with a throwing idea. So the idea is someone's attacked me here, I'm immediately going to their face and throwing, okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to go straight into them because they hit me, so I get out of the way and I throw, okay, and the second one is someone's attacking me and I come this way and I throw. So the first one is called Shomenate, so a face strike. Okay, and the other one's called Gyakugamate because of the foot positioning. I won't try and explain it today. <laughs> so, uh, right side. Going for the right, throwing. So you're immediately coming to the chin. Straight to the chin, throw. Straight to the chin, throw. Okay, five of those. Itch. You want to get nice and forward with your right foot. Knee. But get out the way of the attack. So, okay, now what we do is put our left hand in to make sure we avoid the attack. The left arm is doing a sweep, so 
the tap's coming here now, I'm going to sweep over the top of it and get out of the way. So I'm doing... Watch again. Hand above my head. The big, big movement. Blocking. At the same time, hand to face. So two things happening together. Left hand sweeping down, right hand comes to the face. So I'm going... This is blocking the attack. This is catching the face. Then I throw. So make sure the attack's coming here somehow, out of the way. And do the other way, hand comes to the face. Then you throw. And the block happens with the forearm, so not with your hand. So even if it's a high, high attack, you, you sweep up here, still catch it. Bottles body attack. If it's coming to the side of your hand, here, still. If it's coming this side, just wider angle. It's still all the same thing. Okay, now using both hands. We'll do it slightly slowly first. Each. Knee. Yeah. Right foot forward and throw. Bottom hand. It's like a scissor mode movement. Knee. Sun. Chi. Pitch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Okay. Second scissor movement is the other one. <laughs> Second scissor movement is going this way and coming this way. So this becomes, this is a good, good defense. Person attacking you, uh, you move to your left front. So that's the foot positioning. As you go to the left front, your left hand comes to their temple and your right hand blocks their arm. So the, my right arm is doing this, sweeping down. So I'm, I'm going forward left corner, right arm sweeping down. See the way I move out of the way? As I do my right arm sweeping down, my left hand comes up. So you get a scissor motion. And you see the my body is narrowing. Then I drive forward. So right arm coming down, left hand coming up, coming to the left front corner, and then just throw. So moving left front corner, throw. Again, itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Remember those feet zipping along? Itch, knee. Itch, knee. And again, so itch, knee. So down to a bit. Itch. So left hand is on their temple, their far temple, because you're pushing them. As you drive in that way, they get thrown to the left corner. This is blocking their arm, or even holding their arm, doesn't matter. Whatever works. Then you just throw. So the movement doesn't change. That's the thing. The movement doesn't change, but so it might be a group, it might just for a block. It might not even touch them. They might not even touch their arm. You might just end up using this. But this is here as a guard. This is a guard, really. Much less anything else. Okay, so one more. Each. Yeah. So first one, right front corner. Throw. Second one, left front corner. Throw. Okay. Six of those. Itch, knee, sun, knee, go, okay. The body movement is really important. So when you land, this bit here is what throws the person. You can see I'm not using any force of my body, I'm just moving my body. Okay, in, in Japanese, that's called Ido Ryoku, which is the power of movement. And we use that phrase a lot in, in Shotokan Aikido. It's basically one of the underpinning phrases and practices. Like everything's underpinned by movement, by body movement, which creates power. So it's not power of muscle, it's power of movement. Okay. There you go, mate. Jump. Oh, we haven't done our... Let's do some crunches. Thank you. Make sure you can check I'm doing them properly. Ha ha ha. Right. So, feet flat, knees up. Little ones, remember, don't have to go very far. Let's go. Itch, Knee, sun, 
G, Do, Ro, G, A, U, U, plus 10, H, B, S, G, Do, Ro, G, A, G, U, U, A, G, on the front. Let's go. Mi, mi, san, mi, yo, ro, chi, na, chi, chi, mi, mi, chi, yo, ro, chi, na, chi, chi, mi, mi, san, mi, yo, ro, chi, na, chi, chi, mi, mi, san, mi, yo, ro, chi, na, chi, chi, last ten, mi, mi, san, mi, yo, ro, chi, na, chi, chi. Sit on your heels. Stay straight forward. Okay, up onto your feet. <laughs> Stretch out one side. Bring it up. Toes up. Toes up. Feet go down up. Rotating these. Shake out. Right your fingers. Shake your wrist. Head slide up and down. Short shoulder. Left to right. Head back gently. Shake. Shoulders forward. Shoulders back. Okay, just um, just uh, kneeling or standing, eyes closed. Just breathe from up salt. So deep breathing, just calm yourself down. And mock salt, yamet. Great. Any kind of design on 